Welcome back to Star Wars Fan Animations for a massive project update video. I've got new models, new previs, and lots of other important updates to share with you today. And if you're not already, please subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any important project updates. First up, I want to thank everyone who's watched and liked the Shadows of the Empire trailer that was recently released. I've gotten a lot of great feedback from that and it's really helped to boost the channel. And special thank you to all the creators out there who did a reaction to it. And if you haven't already, as soon as you've watched this video, please go check it out. In the trailer, I showcase several new models that I've added to the asset library, including the Super Star Destroyer Executor, Jizor's personal ship the Virago, Jabba's Palace Exterior, a new swoop bike, the Planet Gaul, X-Wings with a full interior and exterior, the Millennium Falcon cockpit, and a hypertunnel. In addition to the new models I showcased in the trailer, I now also have several other new models, including this incredible model for the Dark Prince of Black Sun himself, Jizor. This model was made by the incredible 3D artist Aural Wedding, whose portfolio I'll link below. In addition to Jizor, I also have a couple of great models by artist Robert Rose. First is a Bothan head, which will be an incredible base for the various Bothan characters, including Koth Milan and a Nimbanel head, which I'll be using for Moset Benit. Benit was Jabba's chief money man and often took the name of Jabba himself when conducting business in his palace. Benit can be seen as a background character in A New Hope and Return of the Jedi, and is featured most prominently in the original Marvel Comics. Star Wars run from 1977 and in the Kenobi novel. I'll be putting Benid in the background inside of Jabba's palace. And since the last project update I did, I also have models for the 2-1-B medical droid, pit droids, Jawas, and Jizor's palace exterior, Jizor skyhook, and the Ord Mantell train and junkyard assets, which were contributed by Admiral Zoda. With these fine addition to my collection, we now have all of the following models. For characters, we have Moset Benit, Koth Milan, Luke Skywalker in various outfits, including his signature Shadows of the Empire look, Jabba the Hutt, Boba Fett, IG-88, Prince Jizor, Lando Calrissian, and Emperor Palpatine slash Darth Sidious, Wedge Antilles, Han Solo in Carbonite, Princess Leia in various outfits and also in Unreal Engine's metahuman format, Chewbacca, Darth Vader, Bosk, C-3PO, R2-D2, an early sculpt of Dash Rendar, and his faithful droid Lebo, Gamorrean guards, as well as a standard Imperial officer uniform, stormtroopers, TIE fighter pilots, Imperial guards, and stormtroopers. For locations, we have Vader's meditation chamber, Palpatine's throne room, Jabba's palace interior and exterior, as well as the Mos Eisley cantina, and an assortment of other Tatooine exterior buildings and locations, the Millennium Falcon cockpit and its lobby area, Ben Kenobi's desert hut, the second Death Star, the planets of Tatooine, Hoth, Gaul, and both the planet of Coruscant and a variety of Coruscant exterior buildings to populate the skyline, and a full interior set for an Imperial Star Destroyer including the bridge, hangar, and hallways, and Jizor's palace exterior, Jizor skyhook, and the Ord Mantell train and junkyard assets. Other droids, creatures, and props include 2-1-B medical droid, pit droid, the loader droid from the Suproza, Jizor's palace gladiator droid, Eronto, Aupi, Dianoga, and Jawas as well as Luke's second lightsaber and its green crystal. Boba Fett's EE-3 blaster rifle, thermal detonators, and a full set of Dajaric models. I plan to make these available for 3D printing, but I haven't had the time or seen the interest as of recently. But if you would like to have the game pieces and rules so that you can play the game with your friends and family, become a member on Patreon and let me know if you would like to expedite the process. Back to our models. For vehicles, I have models for Rebel Snowspeeders, the Millennium Falcon, Dash Rendar ship the Outrider, Prince Shizor ship the Virago, Y-Wings, X-Wings, AT-AT, -AT, Rebel Nebulon B Medical Frigate, Speeders and several varieties of Swoop Bikes, Java Sandcrawler, Land Speeders, Star Destroyers, and the Super Star Destroyer Executor, Gazanti Transport, and TIE Fighters full with an interior cockpit, the IG-2000, and Slave 1. A model that I'm currently dedicating a lot of time to is the full Slave 1 interior. So far, I've blocked out the interior all the way from the entrance to the cockpit, including its rotation mechanism. Right now, I'm in the process of modeling the details and high-res textures to finish this out. I also had help with the cockpit from Jack Uglo, who made the Millennium Falcon Lobby. This model will be essential to the project and our very first scene, Battle of the Bounty Hunter, featuring Boba Fett and IG-88 dueling in the space above Tatooine for the carbon frozen body of Han Solo. So far the scene has finished past the animatic stage which is now available for free on YouTube for all to watch and my team and I have now finished a full 3D previs of the scene which is now available exclusively to members on Patreon of all tiers. After finishing out the Slave 1 interior there's little left to do other than add the finishing touches to the animation and then render it, add the sound, and then we'll release the first installment of the Shadows of the Empire animated fan 
Bam film. Also available right now here on YouTube is the Shadows of the Empire opening crawl and the previous for scene 5, Leia's Nightmare. This massive library of 3D models wouldn't be possible without the support from our patrons and Ko-Fi donors, and the team of volunteers who have been instrumental in creating such a significant number of models and sounds. I still have a lot of models sitting in my carts on Sketchfab, CG Trader, and Turbo Squid that I can add to the project with the help of fans like yourselves. And if you'd like to join the Star Wars Fan Animations production team in any capacity, please reach out to my email, starwarsfananimations at gmail.com, or join the Star Wars Fan Animations Discord, link in description, and shoot me a DM there. Moving on to the cast, I'm pleased to announce that we have cast members for Prince Shizor, Zuckus, IG-88, Koth Milan, Jix, Avaro Sokul, Big Giz, Wes Jansen, Skatul, Bosk, Sparrow, the Rogue Squadron pilot Will Scotian, Dix Riven, Furlag, Hoff, the Cantina Deveronian, and Hausman. The big roles that still need to be cast are Jizor's right-hand woman, Guri, the traitor's female X-Wing tech, Viera Charon, the Saproza captain, Sivar, in addition to several other unnamed extras and other small parts. If you're interested in joining the cast, please reach out to me via email or DM me on Discord. Additionally, we have cast an incredible performance driver for Luke Skywalker. The performance drivers will record a voice performance that an AI voice filter will alter to sound more like the original cast, while still maintaining the identical performance of the voice actor's recording. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. As an example, here is my voice driving the performance of some of the characters. It sounds better when I'm actually voice acting as the character. A benefit of being a Patreon member is you can actually download the audio data sets I've made and make your own text-to-speech or speech-to-speech -speech Star Wars character voice creations. If you're interested in a more complete demo alongside watching a medium in which the Shadows of the Empire story is told, check out my Shadows of the Empire Tops videos which show the story of Shadows of the Empire told through the trading cards and are read in the voices of the characters from the story. If you're interested in being a performance driver for any of the original trilogy characters such as Lando Calrissian, Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, Dash Rendar, Wedge Antilles, Lebo, Princess Leia, and or C-3PO, please contact me via email or on Discord. To overview the progress on the Shadows of the Empire fan film production, we have 17 main character models, over 17 vehicles, 11 droids and background character models, 15 locations with 5 more well on the way, 6 major story props, 5 planets, 4 creatures, and we have cast 16 characters, 4 of which have completed recording, with the other 14 well on the way. We finished making data sets and voice models for 7 of the original trilogy characters with several more well on the way and have finished the opening crawl and previs for scenes 3 and 5. None of this would be possible without the incredible team members and voice actors who've invested their time into this project, nor would it be possible without the investment of the channel's patrons and Ko-Fi donors. Not only does your investment go directly to the project by going towards purchasing 3D models, but also helps to pay for vital software and hardware essential to produce such a behemoth. If you would like to see this project grow, get better, and come out faster, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon and or Ko-Fi. Not only will you get to support the channel and project, but you'll also get some great exclusive benefits such as early access, digital downloads, credit and recognition, voting rights, and more. A brand new benefit you can check out right now is the previs for Battle of the Bounty Hunters at any tier. Another way you can support the channel and get a physical benefit is to check out our brand new Etsy store. Here you can get great merch for Shadows of the Empire and other Star Wars and Expanded Universe material with your favorite factions, quotes, silhouettes, and more. And one way you can get to know me and the channel better is to go watch the interview I did with Brennan over at his channel, Quinlan boss. I go into a lot of detail there about how I got into the expanded universe, what my professional background is, and more fun details on the Shadows of the Empire fan film project. I also plan to start live streaming myself showing the behind the scenes work on Shadows of the Empire in the near future, as well as playing through Star Wars games, starting with Shadows of the Empire, and talking with other Star Wars EU enthusiasts, and more. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can find me on Discord, X, and TikTok. Thank you for tuning in to this Shadows of the Empire fan film update, and until next time, may the force be with you.